what's Walmart's role in this? I mean, isn't disaster relief, isn't that the role of government? Uh, why, why should Walmart, I mean, we understand taking care of your associates, but uh, why should Walmart uh, be doing the kinds of things that it's doing? You know, um, I, I think that uh, Katrina and now the, the Tohoku earthquake um, have shown us that, you know, when you say government, it brings all of these images. But at the end of the day, it's X number of people who are probably a rather minor percent of the population for which they're responsible in a mass disaster. They can't possibly be in all the places doing all the things that are expected. And I think that it falls to the community, and we're just a part of that community, to step in and support the government in trying to do this. And as I said earlier, we are very clear that we are not to usurp the authority or usurp the plans of the government. We should work as a collaborative partner. So it's a bit like in any challenge, whether it be academic, whether it be business, etc., you bring a team together and you try and assign responsibility so that the net outcome is, is much greater than, than necessarily the, the tasks or the, the, the actions of any individual. So we just are a, a public face. We are um, almost by definition, a network. We have stores, we have distribution centers. In many instances, we have more of a disaster preparedness network inherent in having stores with product in them than just about any organization, retailers in general. And as a result, I think that puts us in a unique responsibility. One of the things that happened um, after the, the first couple of days and as we started bringing in supplies, customers of Walmart, of our stores in Japan, just started coming to our stores. They didn't know if we were open. They had no idea if anything was left. But when they said, you know, I need water and I need food, their first reaction was to first come to one of our stores. Now, because we couldn't go into the stores, we started setting up facilities in our parking lots. Um, and, you know, I've been to some of these things. There you know, I was three weeks ago I was at one of our stores, there were still overturned cars in our parking lot. Wow. And, and there were still, though, in the center of it, tables set up where we were giving away, um, 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 giving away water, we were giving away instant noodles. Um, and for folks who wanted to buy things like towels and those sorts of things, we had sort of somebody with a calculator um, and uh, we had the ability to conduct a minor amount of retail at the same time. The reaction of the community was to look towards their retailer as a part of that disaster relief. And I think that's the role that Walmart played by as quickly as possible reestablishing that supply chain so that as our customers came in, they had the chance to be able to get that access. And when I visited the store where there were the overturned um, cars in it, etc., on the on the um, the entrance, um, because the store was was boarded up, um, we've since reopened it. All of these notes from the local community, from just you know customers, um, and one in particular that stuck out with me was a, a thank you note um, from one particular customer, who said, "I'll never forget that you got me um, uh, uh, diapers and infant formula." She said, I can't wait for you to reopen. I will always be a Walmart, in this case, say you as our banner, um, shopper in Japan. And, you know, loyalty like that um, is hard-earned. But once you have it, boy, is it valuable.